what is up eclipsed on here with another tarot reading and i am back in action with some uh video videos i'm like too close to the camera i'm getting used to it again um and so i'm excited about that it is december 2020 i don't have to say that a lot's been going on. <clears throat> that Aries, this reading is for you. I'm going to make it short and sweet. This is any time around December 2020. Like I said, I'm eclipsed on. If you haven't seen any of my videos, welcome. It's nice to have you here. If you are a returning subscriber or just someone that's into watching tarot videos welcome <clears throat> thank you i appreciate you i love you i think you're great thanks for watching aries thanks for sharing thanks for liking and hopefully i will be uh, right now showing you two different perspectives um up close to the cards and me so that we can you know be buds we could be friends and you can see the cards because i want the best of all worlds because i'm a capricorn that's what i like aries i'm just gonna read the cards <clears throat> excuse me I'm wishing everyone well. I hope y'all are staying cozy, staying safe, staying abundant, staying positive, staying open-minded. Try not to be too worried. Try to stay aware, all that stuff. I hope that things get easier for all of us, honestly, <laughs> right? for you if it's been hard for you Aries. but you know I feel like you know that there's a lot coming to you there's something else coming and you know that so let's see you just recently had to move from one place to another one spot where it wasn't working out to a place that was better for you you found a place of independence because of this and it's made you feel a lot more secure in who you are and you're starting to build your own stability, which is great, Aries. I'm happy for you. You look like maybe you're not into the idea of doing this alone, but you have the lovers reversed. So the whoever you're dealing with right now, Aries, that's not the one. Sorry. But not sorry. Six of Pentacles. That's why <laughs> things ain't balanced with this person. No way. Take, take, take. All the time. You don't want to be alone, but this relationship right here. Libra just had this. It's not gonna work for you, Aries. Because it's it's it is karmic, but just because it's karmic doesn't mean it's good for you. Come on. Don't you know that by now? Karmic means you're going to come out with some kind of debt or some kind of gain. Either way, it's not necessary. You don't have to do it every time. You'll realize. You're not going to always want to run away. You're not always going to have to move every time, regain your stability. It's not worth it. Two of Pentacles reverse, so you're having a hard time balancing things out. Yeah. Maybe there's a double life going on with somebody, but it's not working very well for them. I see the tower reverse. They're trying to avoid some kind of inevitable outcome. Whoop! Oh, here it comes. <laughs> it flipped itself. 
It's super inevitable and it's gonna happen soon. Seven of Wands, reverse. You're gonna be tired of defending yourself. The David versus Goliath story. You're like, you know what? You can go and just stick your giant toe up your giant nose. Giant, I'm not gonna fight you today. I'm tired. You know, even David gets tired. Hmm, interesting. So, can't avoid the tower, eh? No, nope. can't balance things out like this forever, eh? You thought this was going to be a frou-frou reading, didn't you, Aries? Six of Wands. So, you're going to make it out on top here. You might end up going back home to visit, maybe for the holidays, or you were thinking about it. Maybe you're worried about it. I feel like don't worry about it so much as far as, like, being received. People are going to be really glad to see you. Yeah, you got the, you got the High Priestess because... It's important to know the mystery within yourself that you don't have to have it all figured out right now. I see you looking back to your past and then also looking towards your future and wondering who you really are. You're trying to keep certain things to yourself. You really had to push hard to get to where you're at. So now you're trying to keep certain things to yourself. And you're kind of talking to yourself about it. You're talking to yourself about it. But you're looking back and you're wondering if you should go home. You're wondering if you should go home. But I'm saying you'll be received at home. You will not be received by this giant toe-sucking spiderweb up here. Somebody might be interested in you a little too much. There might be a kind of an immature, emotional, emotionally immature, kind of bitchy or like teenage girl, kind of like college age, not sure of herself, but really sure that she's supposed to make a big stink about stuff. Not really sure why, but that's how she gets attention, that kind of energy could be a guy okay men act like this too it's just that kind of energy I feel like that's something to do with this lover up here Aries so check it check it check it what is this let's look into this <clears throat> eight minutes and 40 seconds Aries I hope you're doing well this is some kind of this is some stuff. There is an inevitability here. I see it. Whichever direction you're looking, it's there. <laughs> it's coming. Something is coming. I feel it coming. Yeah. I feel it coming. It's like a lounge singer. I feel it coming. I feel it coming. Having some weird dreams lately? Hmm. Practice, practice, practice. With daily practice, you can polish your skills and talents and increase your confidence. This is you with the unicorn. You might be hanging out with a Capricorn sometime soon, or just was with a Capricorn, or a Capricorn in your reading charts. Nurture yourself. Play instruments, play music that makes you happy, go somewhere that makes you happy. You might be involved with a daughter or someone's daughter. Maybe you're going to help them with a new project. Here, new project with someone's daughter or your daughter. It is time for you to detox, so go towards that, wherever that is. You might be able to get your debt paid off and have success here. This is what it says. So, go towards healing your body. Move towards that. New project with your daughter or someone's daughter. Nurture yourself. Practice something that makes you feel whole. 
could be with Capricorn energy, debt paid off, success. The old weight and habit of debt is lifted from you in your life. Success. Congratulations. Congratulations. Drag. Drag. Androgynous. Klaj. Klajio. Krish. Krishna. Krain. Christ. Claim. Claiming someone as your daughter. Clop. Clopping. Clon. Clon. Cologne. Practice, practice, practice. It says it here. Daily practice. Practice, practice. Daily practice. Doing your routine. The more practice and new skills, the more comfortable a company you become. Practice, practice, practice. Let go. Aries. Release your desire to control the situation and leave it up to God's infinite wisdom here. Sensitivity is going to be your, your gift from doing that. Uh-oh. Uh oh! Don't let the bomb fall out, Aries. Stay in touch and make sure you express your inner truth. It's something to do with um, your connection with children as a part of your life's purpose. Maybe opening up to your inner child here and expressing your truth in a way that maybe a child would, just to let it out. You know, connect with nature. You're being inspired to maybe spending time with kids, someone's daughters, or something is going to help you be with nature. Law of attraction. You're rejuvenated, inspired by spending time outdoors. Your vibes are what you, your vibes are your tribe. I'm going to coin that if no one else says that. I don't know if somebody else said that, but your vibes are your tribe. That's law of attraction for you. For real, yo. So, <clears throat> I also see sun. Daughters, son, children. Hmm. If you need a second opinion on something here, it's suggesting that you have, you might help you with your motivation. If you have some editing done, cutting stuff out, detox. They're saying cut it out, detox. Cut it out, detox. Okay. All right. I think that's enough for you. It's only 13 minutes, Aries. Let's get, let's get, okay. I'll get some of these cards over here. That's enough for you. Mm-hmm. Mm. Hmm. Mm. So. Remember. No one can hold you back, Aries. If somebody tries to dim your fire, they're only going to get burnt. Don't even let them try. Don't feel bad about it either. If it's not right, it's not right. You don't have to lament. I feel like there's some secrets here. Like, you don't have to hold it. The inner flame. You don't have to hold it no more for anybody. It's something to do with working with the shadow self here. Okay, healing that part of you, tapping into your inner flame, owl medicine, okay, and coyote medicine, okay, calling in owl and coyote to tell you if there's something you need to stop or give away, you can now, okay, time to address escapism, aggression, misunderstanding, beliefs, agreements, challenges, Narcissist, flights, addiction, running, it's time to take advice, it's time for you to calm down, this time for somebody's being told to calm down, that's good advice here. It could be a fawn response, so it's flight, running away, or trying to convince your abuser not to abuse you, or your person who's attacking you not to attack you, or the animal not to eat you, or whatever the thing is that's stressing you out to try to manipulate your way through. You're going to have to find some silence within you, looking for healing hands, maybe going to see someone who can help you by giving you a massage or a Reiki. It's important that you're real with yourself. It's okay if 
if you get stuck sometimes Aries but you know it doesn't feel right for you but you're not that could be again narcissist came up it could be energy from that it's making you feel stagnant from the past you are a star you're brilliant someone's lost in space it's time for you to clean house if you're staying at someone home at someone's home always help them clean help your mom clean lost in space came up again okay and the raven and the crow i just say it's the ending and a new beginning aries and it's a lot of energy you're probably going to see a lot of animals over the next few days and um I think if you're juggling a couple realities, they're going to start to fall away and things are going to start to become more simplified, more clear for you. You're going to start to realize what's important to you and realize that you were never a coward. Whoever said that is full of biz. 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 Don't even. Bull hucky. Okay, Aries. So. I wish you well. We're at 16.55. Yeah. Ch -ch -ch changes. Turn the beat around. Ch -ch -ch it. And I'm going to change it. There's some big changes going on for you. Huh? I'm changing. You're saying four of cups. I'm not sure if I'm going to take this. I'm just really trying to contemplate. I want to have happiness. I want to have. I want to have children. I want to have grandchildren. I want to have. I want to honor my family. I want my family to be proud of me. I want to move forward. I want to understand myself. I don't want to get into rumors. I don't want to get into gossip. I'm looking to heal myself, and I don't. I don't care if anyone understands me or not. I have gone through heartbreak. I am experiencing heartbreak. My heart has been broken. I'm moving forward. I'm not just going to take things for granted anymore. I want to do this for my future, my legacy. I feel tightness in my sacral chakra, somebody's stomach. Stomach. Putting down the burden of other people's energies, responsibilities put upon you. It's okay to let go and maybe... All right, you're going to get some information about you. I feel like some people are saying things about you that aren't true again. Look to the future. you got this... Aquarius energy, maybe an Aquarius is coming into your life. That would be interesting. Someone else. Something is coming through here. With this air energy, it's going to tell you something that's going to make it a lot easier for you to put down this shit that's not yours. Uh-huh. Yep, you're leaving. And I'm walking away, Ace of Swords. I'm walking away, Magician. I'm walking away. I think it's time you take the risk. Okay, Aries? I hope this helps you in a lot of different ways. But mostly just to clarify your thoughts or give you some kind of validation about the situation you're in. Focus on this new future. This is celebrity. This is... This is being recognized. This is being a star. This is just being star energy. This is purifying. This is the future. This is humanity. This is inspiration. This is the reason why we move forward. This is why we don't give up. Is Aquarius. So I really want you to focus on this energy, Aries. Let this mature you. It's not always just about the moment. Be aware of your surroundings. Stop and pay attention and look to see what the North Star is telling you. Direction. Because you are a force, Aries. And you know I love you. <laughs> I'll talk to you soon. Eclipse Dawn. Signing out. Ciao. Let me know if you need any help with anything with this stuff on Instagram. Okay? Ciao.